Welcome back to Swordman Josh Gaming, and today is release day for the Mystery Boosters. I am going to be opening one of these. I will probably be keeping the other one in my sealed collection. But uh, you see a six-sided die here. We are going to have the RNG gods bless us, hopefully, being since I'm getting married on St. Patrick's Day 2020, so that's next Tuesday. So hopefully the RNG gods will bless us. We're going to do evens, odds, and let's see what we get. Evens. We're going to do this box. I'm going to set this side one aside. All right. So get the die. So there's enough value. I've, I've never done an opening before with sleeves, but there's enough value here. I actually have some sleeves here set aside in case we open one of the big boys. But let's get cracking here. So... I've done a little bit of research on this in regards to the way the booster packs are set up. So it's two common or uncommon white cards, and then it goes in that same order for each other color, including colorless. And then you have a card that's old, old uh, style, uh, old frame, a uh, new frame card, and then your foil. So let's get cracking this guy. This is also 24 packs instead of 36, but unlike in other ones where you may have, in standard sets that I've opened, you may have one mythic or one rare or something that has a lot of value in it, and the rest of it's just generic value. There is value throughout this. So since, for instance, since Demonic Tutor was printed at uncommon and your black uncommon slot up front you could possibly have a demonic tutor in there uh you could also have carpet of flowers up there or ristic study so we're actually going to have to go through each card so it's going to take a little while longer and the sorting is going to be a little bit weird because it's not like all commons uncommons rares and a foil as in a um, master set so it's going to take a little while to open these but hopefully you guys like it hopefully let me get some extra that may be too much light. I think we were better the other way. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, like the opening. Let's see what kind of value we can get out of here. I've seen some crazy openings by a couple different YouTubers. Kraken Packs, Bad Boy Gaming. Um, I suppose I should have brought a trash can over. So let's see where we're at. Cloud Shift, I love this card. Uh, Frantic Search, Vapor Snag. Thraben, Scuttling Death, Monastery Swift Spear. There's a there's a couple dollar card there. And I believe that was our See, I, I'm gonna even have to check the uh, the commonality of these uh, to keep my piles right. So commons. Uh, we have Hulking Devil. Creeping Mold is an uncommon. Return of the Earth. Gore Clay and Rampager. The Jukabog. Good commander card. Crinolated Walls. So like I said, this is the old frame. Um, target creature gets plus zero, plus four until end of turn. Interesting card. Uh, I've never seen it. Uh, I got out of Commander, or I got out of Magic uh, during about the Urza's block and then sold all my cards off in the two th early 2000s, so some of these old frame cards I won't know. Urza's Rage and a Foil Trailblazer's Boots. Not bad for pack one. So if I catch anything that's about 20 bucks or over, I'm going to sleeve it. There's the War Cleric, Fencing Ace, Drag... Under Brainstorm, there's a there's a good reprint. Weirding Vampires common. Uh, Fallen Angel uncommon. Stagger Shock. Run amok. Jungle Wayfinder. Enoch Survivalist. Huh. Obelisk Spider. Ashnod's Altar. There's another good reprint. A great uncommon. Uh, can't complain there. Weathered Wayfarer. Oh, uh, yeah. This this is going to be a great card to put into my Teshar deck to help with being mana screwed. 
Savage Knuckleback. Not familiar with this one at all. And a Spring Jack Shepherd. It's a Kithkin. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kithkins back in the day. I, I never got to play them, but I, I heard they were a thing. And like I said, I apologize. This is going to be a longer video. But you can't rush such a great product, right? Searing Light. Geist more. Uh, common, common. Crush Descent. Vigian Graft Mage. Vanguard. Cower and Fear. Built to Smash. Insolent Nanonate. Looks like we got all common so far. Pathwander, Rancor. That's a good uncommon reprint. Quinny, you're not playing Magic today. Lay down. Uh, Rancor. Slave of Bolus. Icy Manipulator. Shakashima the Imposter. That's a fun card. Boom Pile. Flip a coin. If you win the flip, destroy all non-land permanents. Interesting. And a Boreal Druid. Uh, was looking for a playset. Sorry, let me move my cat. Looking for a playset of that to uh, finish off one of my modern decks. So getting one of those is great for me. My cat's being a menace. I'm not going to let her be on YouTube today. Celestial Flare, Knight of the Skyward Eye, Curious Dam Breaker, Brine, Ancestral Vengeance, Street Wraith, Giant Spectacle, Skirk Prospector, Borderland Explorer, Cultivate. These were all commons, yes, yes. Reclusive Artificer. Hexplate Golem, not one you really want to see. Reese the Redeem, there's a great uh, legendary creature. Uh, he actually may... I don't know where Reese sits nowadays, but he's not above 20 bucks. There's only, in the set right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10 cards sitting above 20 bucks, but Reese is still a great card to pull. A Gravecrawler, another great card to pull. And a Spell Tithe Enforcer. That one's fun. Is that a. I can't. That has to be a rare or a mythic. Um, really hard for me to see that color, but. That looks like the elephant from uh, Venerated Loxodon from, what was it, War of the Spark? Going down the path. Lighten Core Firewalker. Thunder Drake. Augur of Bolus. Great Popper card. Blue Black Delver, Staple and Popper. Douse and Gloom. Grix's Slave Driver. Reckless Firewalker. Rush of Adrenaline. Silk Week Elite, Sylvan Scrying. It's a uh, pretty good reprint for, uh, what is it? It's Eldrazi, Green Eldrazi. Cunning Breeze Dancer, Jungle Shrine. Release the Ants. That sounds interesting. Release the Ants deals one damage to target creature or player. Clash with an opponent. If you win, return it to your hand. Okay, interesting. Wheel of Fate. There we go. Uh, I didn't even know this was in here. Uh, yeah, if you can't run Wheel of Fortune, run Wheel of Fate. And Celestial Kirin. So that was Old Bordered Uncommon. Okay. All right. I got it. It's not necessarily guaranteed to have two rares or three rares or three mythics per pack. You just get lucky if you get that. Healing Hands. Loyal Sentry. 
chart a course. Forbidden alchemy. Sultai rune mark. Inquisition of Kozilek. I believe that's a pretty good one. Value-wise, anyways. I'll have to look up some more of these. Because a lot of these cards I haven't got to play with because they were out of my price value for buying singles when I make 50-card commander decks. Runus Griblin, Vessel of Voltility. Nimble Mongoose. Bitterblade Warrior. Mardu Rough Rider. Pilgrim's Eye. Huh, they use the... Uh, Pilgrim's Eye from Game Knights rather than any of the other sets. That's kind of interesting. Watergate. A oh, Wargate. Search your library for a permanent card with converted mana cost X and less. Put it into play. Then Oh, it puts it straight into play. That's interesting. Skulker. And a Mirrodin Core. Put a charge. Remove a charge counter from Mirrodin Core. Add one mana event. Okay, so it's a... It's a... Slow mana... Uh, mana filter rock. Of course, like everybody else, you know, you want to hit the mana crypt. Um, but so far, I'm not displeased. I can imagine this would make a great draft environment. Though, a very chaotic draft environment, just like they want. It's a chaos draft. Uh, Luminarch Mantle. Shipwreck Looter. Choking Tethers. Dark Blast. Vampire Lacerator. We were Giant. Mog Fanatic. Oh, they printed the Mog Fanatic version at Uncommon. I don't know what that set symbol is. It's a weird one to me. Dawn's Reflection. Baloth. Perilous Mirror. Goblin Game. That is a lot of text for Goblin Game. We have Tolerant Sky Summoner and Lightning Storm. So we're a third of the way through. These uh, packs are very... Some, sometimes the packs feel very... The plastic that they use seems thin. This is very thick plastic for these. A little harder to open. Freeblade, Nyx Fleece Ram. That's uh, one that's been going up in value in an uncommon slot. Windstrider, Mystical Teachings. Stinkweed, Pit Keeper. Duelist. Oh, Lure. Elemental. Drana's Emissary. Uh, that'd be a fun card to play with. I can s Hot Soup. I saw somebody use this in a Urza Voltron build. So, I may have to do my own variation on this. A Flame Shot. That's an old set symbol. Uh, Flame Shot deals 3 to any number of target creatures. Too bad it's not creatures or players. It'd make it a whole lot better. Tempt with Discovery. Good commander card. And a Goblin Bushwhacker. This may end up being about a 30 minute video for one box opening. These packs are actually quite hard to open here. This one doesn't want to open at all. Alright, when in doubt. We'll go that route. Soul Mender, Lieutenant of the Guard, Dispel, Syncopate, Annihilation, Dark Ritual, Titan, Fervent Strike, Fierce Empath. Oh, that's from the uh, Zangyu Global Series. I recognize that symbol. Skyward Eye Prophets. Consulate Dreadnought. Imperial Armor. I remember playing this when Weatherlight came out. It was extremely strong. Uh, I believe that is actually an uncommon. Aetherflux Reservoir. 
and a foil Aurelius Fury. I uh, have Aurelius Flurry in my Feather deck. May have to replace it with that foil copy now. Bling it out a little bit. Ephemerate, love this card too. Palace Sentinel, uh, become the Monarch uh, at common, so it might be very good for a popper. Slipstream Eel, Cloud, Duress, Ghostly Changeling, it's an uncommon, Inferno Jet, Act of Treason. I'm curious why they sometimes picked a newer set than an older set. I, I don't know if it's because the art, they already had, had it or what. Pierce the Sky, Wrangler, we have a Cathari Remnant. Uh, uh. Font of Mythos. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws two additional cards. Hmm. Okay. Mirren of Clan Nell Toth. This is a great commander card. And a, <laughs> a Helix Pinnacle 2. Um, I'm sure this has been going up in value because of uh, Nyx Bloom Ancient. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know where that card's sitting. It makes me kind of curious if it's anywhere up here in the top at all. Let me just look in here real quick. Shakashima is 15 bucks right now. I'm, I'm sure all these prices are going to go down. Helix Pinnacle Foils, $14. Hopefully these foils don't curl too bad. Knight of Old Benalia. Never played it. Didn't like it. Doom Traveler. Homunculus. Hover Guard. Uh, so I, I'm guessing that the best thing you can get in the blue slot and white is probably going to be Rhystic Study. Common. Common. Good old Fireball. Vampire. Siege Worms. Always get Worms. Putrefy. Etched Oracle. Jushi Apprentice. Draw a card. If you have nine or more cards in hand, flip it. What do you get when you flip it? Target player draws X cards where X is the number of cards in your hand. Interesting. Dictate of Heliod. Um, another rare. And a foil Gorilla Tactics. And I, of course, remember playing Gorilla Tactics when it came out. That came out all the way back. Oh, gosh. It was a much earlier set than 10th edition. It was like Mirage, maybe, or something. Soul Strike. Gleam of Resistance. Messenger Jays. Boon of Emmercool. Diabolic Edict. Furnace Whelp. Ah, oh, he's a cute little dragon, isn't he? Goblin Warchief. Pulse of Marasa. Oh, there's a uh, very expensive popper card. Boros Challenger. Either Spellbomb, a card I absolutely love. Harkon Stormgold Scourge. I think he's one of them that uh, has gone up in value with knights being popular. Is he a... Nah, I'm pretty sure he's a rare. Uh, Kiki Jiki. And one with nothing. Love the artwork. I guess it'd be really good if you wanted to be hellbent. You gonna make me do this again? Get out my knife? Oh, no, there we go. I'm surprised they must have had this set in works for a long time because they have Modern Horizons, they have um, Ravnica, they have War of the Spark, all of that stuff's in here. So, uh, Collar of Gales, Steady Progress, love this card. These were all commons, right? Yeah. Certain Death, Nameless Inversion, Gutter Snipe. Dual Shot, Ranger Guile, Thrashing Bront Brontodon, Zorius Charm, 
Thran Golem. Sadistic Hypnotist. Okay. Whelming Wave. So this was a want want kind of pack because I guess Whelming Wave is a rare. It doesn't look like it's a rare, but it is. Because that definitely doesn't look good. And a pan Panglacial Worm. While searching your library, you may play Panglacial Worm from your library. Cool. A 9-5. As long as you have a search, uh, pretty easy to do in Commander. Even in Mono Green. May have to go into my Grun deck. Apostle's Blessing. Blue Elemental Blast. Not as good as Red Elemental Blast. Freven Dire. Held on Overseer. Greenwood. Fusion Elemental. Just an 8 8 for Wooburg. Okay. Mishra's Bobble. There's a hit. Assemble the Legion. Another good card. Night Howler. And your Tiller Nephilim. Uh, I remember Commander's Quarters doing a Commander's Two Cents about the Nephilim should all be legendary creatures. Alright, two packs in the second third. We're going to run well over 30 minutes, and I apologize. So, strike. Circular Logic. Thoughtcast. That's a great card for Affinity Decks. Boon Emrakul. Plague. You would think that with there being so many cards in this set, it'd be really hard to get more than one copy of each card, but that's the second or third Boon Emrakul we've seen, I think. Every Temper. Life Spring Druid. Elvis Visionary, and they printed it at the common level. Shrewd Hatchling. Blasted Landscape. Wow, they printed those. I thought Blasting Landscape was a common. Hurricane. Champion of the Parish. And a Stigma Lasher. Wither whenever Stigma Lasher deals damage to a player. That player can't gain life for the rest of the game. That's pretty brutal. I wonder where he sits value-wise. That seems pretty good. A foil. Certain death. Erg Raiders. Kiln Fiend. Rampaging. Overgrown Armasaur. There's a Gnarlid. Oh, there's a Baleful Strix. Hey, we got ourselves an owl. Um, Going to be really hard for me to part with that to give it to my fiance, soon-to-be wife as she collects owls. But uh, that's a great card. Skull Clamp, another great card. Null, bind, Null Spine Dragon. Meandering Tower Shell. And Rune Tail, another great card. That was a great pack right there. I know the Meandering Tower Shell is not worth much because I have four copies of it, but it's still a great card. I may have to build a deck around Meandering Tower Shell just because I love turtles. Belladar Umbra. So we actually got a uncommon in the white slot finally. Um, this isn't gonna have counter spell, been reprinted, never happened. Will of the Wisp. I remember playing this back when it was in unlimited. Uh, back then, regeneration was the bomb, and a one CMC, one black flying zero one regenerator could just shut down a game back in Unlimited and Revised. Aerostorm, Orcish Cannonade, Yavimaya, Manglehorn, Grim Contest, Implement of Malice, Lash Knife Barrier, okay, Hornet's Nest, and Glittering Wish, a uh, wish card, uh, wish part of the wish cycle. Not great for Commander, not great for much of anything. Fun card, just can't play it anywhere. Mm, 
Promise of Brunei. See, here's, I mean, we have um, Throne of Eldraine. Spine Monitor, Spire Monitor, Plague Crafter, love that card. Recover, Barrage of Boulders, Anger, gotta love that card. We're starting to see more uncommons now. Ambassador of Oaks, Corpse Jack Menace, Aether Hub, Greater Gargadon, Suspend 10, wow. Sacrifice an artifact creature or land, remove a time counter from it. Activate this ability only if it's suspended. Okay. Coat of Arms. There's an amazing card. And Reaper King in foil. Gotta love it. So far, not too bad. Not for the price I paid. Of course, let's, let's see if we can hit something a little better here. How about a uh, Sins Triplets, uh, Mana Crypt, uh, you know, an Elish Norn. Carpet of Flowers, you know, something fun. Expropriate, Teferi's Protection. This really does want to open. I know it does. Save off. Noun Faith, Wishful Morphle, Court. Rotting, Daring, Common, 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 Common. I think for the most part we can skip over most of the uncommons. Draconic Impulse, Mirror Retriever, great card. I run it a lot. Yavamaya's Embrace, creature you you control, enchanted creature, enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and trample. That's a huge casting cost though. A crow and horse, Braids of Fire. Is this one of them that's up there in cost? In foil. Braids of Fire, yeah, 16 bucks right now. Like I said, I expect all these prices after today to start falling. But for right now, it's neat to see where they're at and then track them later. I'm curious if, uh, like, the Delver lens or something will catch the symbol in the bottom to uh, put it into your uh, sets correctly. Feldar Guardian, too bad he got banned. Lab Man. Tandem Lookout, great command, uh, popper card. Uh, or I should say popper commander card. Ruin Rats, Rabid Blood, Bring Low, Demolish, Yavamaya Elder, Elephant Guide, Roshin Meander. Add four colors to your mana pool. Spend this mana only on X. Okay. Millstone, Rith the Awakener. Sliver Hive Lord. All right, and Ravenous Trap. Uh, these trap cards. I need to look into them. I think they were a lot of fun back in the day. I've heard people talk about them, but I've never seen them except for on a couple of box openings from Rudy, uh, Alpha Investments. Only a couple of packs left. We haven't hit a big money card yet. See if we can. Well, I mean, big money by over 20 bucks. We've hit some 15, 10, 15 dollar cards. Let's see where we can get here. Cartouche. Murder of Crows. Curiosity, great card. Scourge. Fatal Push. Uh, running Rampant and Pioneer. Canyon Young Pyromancer. Seek. Other elves you control get plus one, plus one, and create an elf. All right. Coiling Oracle. Good card. Carvex Torch. I believe is an uncommon. Mind Spring and Balefire Liege. Uh, not unhappy to see that. That will go into my Feather deck. Because I couldn't, I didn't, making it budget, I didn't buy one. Of course, Guy Fisher, cast out. Come on, let's do a Rhystic Study. Jawar. Torment of Vision. Obi Gang. 
Weeping Frenzied, Stoic, Arbor Elf, Goblin Death Raider, Unclaimed Territory, Mist Form Shrieker, All is Dust. There's a card that I needed also from my Eldrazi deck. And Geth's Grimory. Very nice. Two packs left. And we are at 30 minutes. I thought we'd be around 30 minutes. Come on, open. Two packs left to pull big money. Loxodon, Angelic Gift, Ghost Ship, Olaged, Finn, Mardu, Firebolt, Mulch. Campaign of Vengeance. Good old fashioned Ornithopter. Tinker. A uh, good way to find artifacts. Misdirection. And Pillipala. Great for uh, infinite combos. Really helps with infinite combos. Last pack. I don't think I'm going to total up values on this. I think I'm just going to leave it where it is. Let you guys, if you guys want to total up the values, you're more than welcome to. Battle Mastery. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm, I'm opening this more so that way I can have the cards to play with. Hijack. Nettle Sentinel. Haro. Warden of the Eye, Reliquary Tower, good uncommon, Bear Cub, Portal Second Age, all right, here we go, Black Market, not a bad hit, and last is a Bolduvian Rage, so all in all, not bad, we didn't hit any of the major cards, but can't really complain, not for what we did here. Not the best box, but not the worst box. So if you like what you saw, leave a like, comment down below. Uh, I may have a tack on getting a couple more of these. If I get two more of these, I probably will open one more booster box of this. If I don't, I'll probably be leaving this one behind me for doing a draft with my friends or um, keeping it back for a, an investment. So I hope everybody has a great week and a great weekend. I will be not doing anything at all for a while and that's the reason I haven't been doing anything for a while as I've been getting ready to get married and now I'm going to get married so kind of a wedding present to myself she gets hair and makeup I got a booster box it's a win-win um, everybody have a great time and I hope your FNM is drafting this and you it's everything you hope it to be good night